Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution, The Missing Link. Last time we had regained Adam's equipment, now we've been directed to go to the CIC, which I think is the ship's communication center. So, let's get started. 1. The Missing Link the year is 2027. Six months ago, augmented black ops soldiers broke into Biotech Corporation Serif Industries and kidnapped the company's top researchers. Adam Jensen has been searching for them ever since. After following a trail of breadcrumbs leading to China... Oh gosh. Yeah, we better back up. He stowed away aboard a cargo ship registered to private military contractor Bell Tower Associates. Little did he realize how dangerous that action would be. Alright, here we are. This is the door out of the brig to the forward cargo hold. Let's move right along. The forward cargo hold is itself unpopulated, if I remember right. Find the cause of the disturbance. It's a new side quest. S1, acceptable losses. Find the cause of the disturbance. Not sure if I just felt an explosion or a 10 ton weight smashing through the hull of this ship. Either way, whatever caused that jolt can't be good. If I don't want to join Davy Jones in his locker, I might want to find out the cause. Manual reinitiation of stasis pod life support needed. Stasis pod O2 saturation levels decreasing. Service oxygen delivery system. Got a new computer here. Unlocked. From auto underscore support at hzz.belltower.net to hzz dash breach detected. Stasis pod failure imminent. Dash BT. Oh, shut up. Of stasis pod life support needed. Stasis pod O2 saturation levels decreasing. Service oxygen delivery system. Mm -hmm. To HZZ BT underscore engineering underscore all. Warning immediate attention required. Emergency log support ID 10226. Machine name HZZ BT underscore 4CRG underscore CTRL underscore 1. Local ID 41. Status unknown. Description from auto underscore support at hzz.belltower.net. Begin report. Item stasis pod number 73. Status critical. Error reports. Power supply disrupted. Energy level low. Auxiliary reserve 18%. Life support. Vitals core only. Nervous system stressed. Neuroactive. Activity, low high cardiac output extreme overall unstable failing diagnostics occupant expiration imminent recommendations immediate attachment to non auxiliary power supply end report and then over here there's another computer which I also want to check out from t.ahmed at hzz.belltower.net to e.houghton at hzz.belltower.net. Bloody pirates. You hear about Clark's hit on those Somalis off New Guinea? I was talking to him earlier, but it's making local news. Apparently they gave him the what for and wiped the place clean. Fucking rats didn't stand a chance. Hopefully that don't discourage him too much. Would be nice to get a little action here once in a while. I'm fixing for a fight. You think we can bait them into making a go at us sometime? Maybe take some of the birds out of their freezers and parade them around the deck in bikinis for a while. Ha ha ha. From w.black at hzz.belltower.net to hzz-bt underscore all. Hi Zhenju Sitrep. As most of you know by now, earlier this evening, an as-of-yet unidentified enemy combatant was discovered, subdued, and captured aboard the ship. It is still unclear how, why, or when this individual came aboard, but he was heavily armed and well-trained, leading us to believe he may be acting on behalf of a larger, more serious threat. 
This puts us all in a very vulnerable position, as we must ascertain any and all damage, potential or otherwise, done to the integrity of our operations, and the far-reaching implications, if any, brought about by these events. While we attempt to gather more details concerning the identity and motivations of this individual, there will be a full and thorough clean sweep of the ship in order to root out any further possible breaches or unauthorized personnel. In the meantime, all security units are to report to your previously assigned duties until given further orders. All non-essential systems personnel are to report immediately to the mess hall with appropriate identification and, cle identification and clearance papers. Failure to comply will result in unfavorable actions being taken against you, as you will be considered acting under suspicious and or unlawful behavior. Thank you, Lieutenant William H. Black, Operations Security, Bell Tower Associates. From j.barber at rbs.belltower.net to b.wade at rbs.belltower.net. Orion Insta Messaging Autosave. This conversation was automatically saved in your conversation history. Jordan Barber. Man, you see that ridiculous chair they set up down in the brig? Benjamin Wade. Yeah, I was part of the team that brought it on board and assembled it. Jordan Barber. Haha, <laughs> I feel for you. Benjamin Wade. Was Burke's call and probably a good idea. You know that Rambo we found nearly took out an entire patrol, including the LT, single-handedly? Jordan Barber. So? He was disarmed and unconscious. Could have just chained him to a wall instead of going through all that trouble. Benjamin Wade. Are you kidding? That son of a bitch is loaded with tier one augs. His fucking arms turn into swords for Christ's sake. Who knows what kind of subdermals he has. Jordan Barber. True. Benjamin Wade, only way to be sure is to strap him to an EMP generator and be done with it. Hence the chair. Burke's not stupid. Jordan Barber, you think he was alone? Could have been a scout or part of a forward op. Benjamin Wade, yeah, no way he's alone. Doesn't add up. Who sends in a commando with a billion dollar price tag without backup? Jordan Barber, maybe he's CIA and we're about to get fucked. Benjamin Wade, maybe. Anyway, keep your head up. I need to get back topside. Jordan Barber. Yeah, later, bros. Stay frosty. All right. Let's find the way out of here now. You know, I would have guessed that this was a door I could open, but it looks like that guess would be wrong. Container breach detected. Stasis pod failure imminent. What am I missing? There must be something. Service oxygen delivery system. Oh, an open window. Well, that seems simple. All right. We're now in the forward cargo hold. There are a few things we can do in here. The main one is that it's possible... Oh, I didn't want that. There's an achievement in here somewhere. Which we will, of course, want to track down. I think before I mess with that too much, I'll go ahead and come down here. There's a 100 XP Traveler bonus. For finding that particular breach. Down to all of these uh, cryogenic storage tanks. Well, let's see what we can find on these stasis pod logs. 
IC3-F slash Jane Doe 0667, designation 150-154.372, sex F, ethnicity IC3, age 30, pickup EU-IR, destination RBS Silo B, associations hi, married, additional ID unconfirmed, no visible augmentation work, note, marriage suspected, wedding ring, may trigger surge, Procedures. Full workup REQ'd upon arrival. Status. Stable. IC3-F slash Jane Doe 0606-DET. Designation 019-021-840. Sex F. Ethnicity IC3. Age less than 20. Pickup NA-USA. Destination RBS Silo F. Associations low slash mid dash DRB, additional, no ID, no visible augmentation work, heavily tattooed, possible gang affiliation, armed, confiscated. Procedures, partial workup completed at auxiliary processing, will be forwarded, status, stable. IC1-F, Gerard Denise-93, designation 009-053-036, sex female, ethnicity IC1, age 34, pickup OCE-AUS, destination RBS-B, associations unknown, additional ID confirmed, no visible augmentation work, secured through BT recruitment drive, Briz, med exam complete, unsuitable for combat, procedures, Preliminary exam confirmed, all markers positive, full workup REQ'd upon arrival, status stable. IC1-F slash Jane Doe 08853, designation 150-151-498, sex female, ethnicity IC1, age unknown, pickup EU-MOL, destination RBS-Silo A, associations low slash high, prostitute, see below. Additional, no ID, no visible augmentation work. Note, possible undercover agent, local law enforcement. Procedures, full workup REQ'd upon arrival, status stable. There are lots of these. <coughs> IC1-F slash Jane Doe 2052, designation 009 slash 053 dash 554, sex female, ethnicity IC1, age greater than 40. Pickup OCE-NZ, destination RBS-SiloJ, associations HI-Family, additional, no ID, no visible augmentation work. Note, secured wearing wedding ring indicates family, possible risk of surge. Procedures, full workup REQ'd upon arrival, status stable. IC5-M John Doe 1493, designation 142-030-156, sex male, ethnicity IC5, age unknown, pickup Asia-CH, destination RBS-Silo A, associations low, additional, ID unconfirmed, remanded by TS Hung, evidence of previous augmentations, cauterized stumps, suspect harvest, note, possible plot against BT forces in area. Procedures. Administration of analgesic drugs confirmed. Interrogation. Status. Stable. IC0-F slash Jane Doe 2027. Designation 019-021-840-DET. Sex. F. Female. Ethnicity. IC0. Age. 30 plus. Pickup NA-USA destination RBS-Silo B Association C additional additional no ID undetermined ethnic background mixed no visible augmentations note Detroit PD search ongoing low risk procedures full workup REQ'd upon arrival status stable IC1-F slash 3 Jane Doe 0441 designation 009-053-036, sex female, ethnicity IC1, age 30 to 40, pickup OCE-AUS, destination RBS-Silo C, greater than OR, Addition, associations, unknown, see below, additional, no ID, dog tags illegible, visibly augmented, communications package, possible cerebral enhancements, secured during NT operation, possible FSA combatant, low risk, procedures, Full workup REQ'd upon arrival. Pre-existing cranial enhancements may preclude inclusion into program. Transfer to Omega. Remit to harvesters. 
status stable. IC1-F slash Jane Doe 1964-7, designation 009-061-258X, sex, female, ethnicity, IC1, age, unknown, pickup, OCE-POL, destination, RBS-SILO-C, associations, unknown, additional, no ID, no visible augmentations. Note, subject secured on deserted island, approximate location, 10001100. Signs suggest possible descendant of shipwreck survivors. Technological anachronisms also found. Rudimentary communications device made from seeds of indigenous tree. Various implements fashioned from bamboo. Procedures full workup are EQ'd upon arrival. Status stable. IC5 F Jane Doe 80085. Destination 142-030-392. Sex, female, ethnicity, IC5, age unknown. Pickup, Asia-JPN. Destination RBS-SILO-C, transfer O-R. Associations, low, prostitute, additional. No ID, previously augmented, physical enhancement, cosmetic. Work-related augmentations. Procedures. Preliminary exam conducted in the field. Confirm continuance to Omega. Status stable. We'll skip the damaged one for now. IC3-F slash Branch Lexala-04. Destination 002 slash 014-894. Sex female. Ethnicity IC3-B2. Age 23. Pickup AFR-ZAM. Destination RBS-SILO-D. Associations, family, med medium slash high risk, additional, ID recovered, Lexala branch, born 2005, age and med status confirmed. Picks of family found in possession, no visible augmentations. Note, secured through Asian nanny initiative numbers indicate good flow through in developing countries. Procedures, full workup REQ'd upon arrival, medical records submitted, preliminary workup to confirmed, status stable. IC5 F Jane Doe 2019, designation 142 030 156, sex female, ethnicity IC5, age 40 to 50, pickup Asia CH, destination RBS Silo B, associations unknown, additional, no ID confirmed, secured during Alice Garden Raid, Lower Hengsha. No visible augmentations. Procedures. Full workup are EQ'd upon arrival. Mild sedative administered prior to stasis. Status stable. IC1-M slash Tells Antony HC69. Designation 009 slash 053 036. Sex male. Ethnicity IC1. Age 30 through 40. Pickup OCE AUS. Destination RBS Silo C. Associations FSA. Additional ID confirmed. Anthony Kells, aka Tony the Lion, born 1992, Cairns, Queensland. Member of Australian Parliament 2020 to 2026. Highly placed FSA official. No visible augmentations. Note suspected to have various social augmentations, possibly systemic boosters. Procedures TBD. Commander Burke may want to interrogate this guy personally. Status stable. All right, now let's look at the damaged one. You see the disconnected power supply there. Stasis pod number 73 server. Let's read the log. That gives us find the cause of the disturbance, gives me a praxis point with my 750 XP. New experience total 125. <clears throat> Status pod seven, or stasis pod 73. Activate non-auxiliary power supply. Status critical. Power supply auxiliary reserve energy level low. Activate non-auxiliary power supply. Life support. Vitals core only. Nervous system stressed. Neuroactivity low high. Cardiac output extreme. Overall unstable failing. Activate non-auxiliary power supply. Occupant expiration imminent. Activate non-auxiliary power supply. So our new goal is fix the damaged stasis pod. A, fa a falling container ripped a hole through the floor of the forward cargo hold, revealing a storage area filled with cryogenic stasis pods. It also damaged one of the pod's electronic servers. If I don't find a way to restore power to the server, whoever is inside the pod doesn't stand a chance. 
Oh, this isn't too bad. We got a back room here with more pods to check out. It's like a dozen of them. I'll do the right side first. IC 2 F slash Jane Doe 2027. Designation 150 slash 154.826. Sex female, ethnicity IC2, age less than 20. Pickup EU UK, destination RBS silo B. Associations low, indigent, see below. Additional, no ID, no visible augmentations, see below. Note, secured SOHO, amputee, possible previous augmentation, voluntary. Procedures, full workup REQ'd upon arrival, status stable. IC2-F slash Jane Doe 9X003, designation 019-005-604, sex, female, ethnicity IC2, age, less than 30, pickup SA-PER, destination RBS-SILO-F, associations, low, indigent, additional, no ID, unconfirmed name, R. Mejuero, <laughs> I have no idea, no visible augmentations. Note, possible previous augmentation work removed, missing limb, limb, leg, with suspicious scarring. Procedures, full workup REQ'd upon arrival. Pay particular attention to glial markers due to possible removed augmentations. May skew results. Status, stable. IC4-F Jane Doe 0099, designation 142-034-356. Sex, female, ethnicity, IC4, age, unknown. Pickup, Asia-IN, destination, RBS-TBD. Associations unknown. Dalit, additional, no ID, no visible augmentations. Procedures, full workup REQ'd upon arrival, status, stable. Uh, here in the middle, we got a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack, which I'll go ahead and take. IC 6 F Jane Doe 1774, designation 150 155 250, sex, female, ethnicity, IC 6, age, over 30. Pickup EU FRA, destination RBS TBD, associations low, indigent, additional, no ID confirmed, no visible augmentation work. Note, Significant amount of money found on person. Procedures. Full workup REQ'd upon arrival. Status stable. IC 6 F slash AOT Benu 16. Des designation 002 slash 015 818. Sex female ethnicity IC 6. Age unknown. Pickup AFR EGP. Destination RBS Silo A. Associations High. Family. Additional. Paid contract. Fee confirmed. ID confirmed. Benu AOT. No visible augmentation work. Note. Secured abduction. Procedures. Full workup REQ'd upon arrival. Status stable. IC 1 M slash Rainer Rick DK 000. Designation 009-053-036, sex, male, ethnicity, IC1, age 28. Pickup OCE-AUS, destination, RBS-Silo B, associations, FSA, additional, ID confirmed, Rick Rayner, born 1999, Darwin NT, known FSA member, high echelon, Responsible for 2026 Brisbane bombing. No visible augmentation work. Procedures TBD. Status stable. Six more pods. Let me check the middle, make sure I'm not missing anything. This ought to be it pod wise. I hope so anyway. IC5 F Jane Doe 0911, designation 142 030 156, sex female, ethnicity IC5, age over 40, pickup Asia CH, destination RBS TBD, associations unconfirmed, additional, no ID, no visible augmentation work, note, Hengshaw lower sweep, harvest add on, con, procedures, full workup REQ'd upon arrival, status stable. 
IC3-F slash Jane Doe 9000, designation 142-030-244, sex female, ethnicity IC3, age unknown, pickup Asia-HK, destination RBS-TBD, associations low, prostitute, see below, additional, no ID, no visible augmentation work, note, suspected criminal connections, red arrow, complications not expected, payment, procedures, Full workup are EQ'd upon arrival. Status stable. <coughs> IC5 F. Thwilai Bach 45D. Designation 142 035 764. Sex female. Ethnicity IC5. Age 25. Pickup Asia THA. Destination RBS Silo E. Associations None suspected. Possible prostitute. Additional ID confirmed. Three Lie Bach. Single office worker. No visible augmentation work. Procedures Full workup REQ'd upon arrival. Status stable. IC3 M slash John Doe D 00 D. Designation 002-014-706, sex, male, ethnicity, IC3, age, unknown, pickup, AFR-SOM, destination, RBS-SILO B, associations, low, criminal, additional, no ID confirmed, visibly augmented, black market, note, secured on high seas, attempt to board BT vessel bound Hengsha, automated security apprehended, Look into permanent implementation, decoy operations. Procedures suggest harvesting. Status stable. IC5 F Jane Doe 0126. Designation 019 slash 021 124. Sex female, ethnicity IC5, age 30 to 40. Pickup NA CAN. Destination, RBS-Silo E. Associations unknown. Additional, no confirmed ID. Suspected cranial social augmentations. May interfere with processing EMP field. Gen, G-E-N dot R-E-Q'd. Procedures, full workup R-E-Q'd upon arrival. Caution, social logs may complicate initial interview. Status, stable. IC5-F slash Jane Doe 065-MM, designation 142-030-392, sex, female, ethnicity, IC5, age, unknown, pickup, Asia underscore JPN, destination, RBS-Silo B, associations, unknown, additional, false ID suspected, Razor Girl, aka Kalodi, Rose, visibly augmented, external mirror ocular implant, function unknown, Distal phalangeal implants, titanium, others suspected. Procedures, full workup REQ'd upon arrival, status stable. Okay. To deck one, storage room. We got an elevator here, which I don't really want to mess with just yet. Here's the one crate we can move. So I'll go ahead and move that and then crawl through here. Here's another crate we can move. And then as we hop up here, we find a reload speed upgrade and a stasis pod battery. Must be a quest item. Stasis pod battery, rechargeable CSP battery, a rechargeable deep cycle battery. This one is designed specifically to power cryogenic stasis pods over sustained periods of time. Let's go ahead and run back and install that. Fix the damaged stasis pod. Another 750 XP brings me up to 875. Unlocks the achievement Good Samaritan. One of the secret ones. You replaced the power supply on a damaged stasis pod, saving the occupant's life. That's 1 out of 10, 10%. Completes the side quest acceptable losses.
Oops. Now before I get too involved in proceeding, I need to make sure I'm not missing a bunch of stuff in here, which is a distinct possibility. I'd like to know what's through that little door down there, but I'm probably going to have to stack a few crates to find out. On top of that, I'd like to move this around. Gantry control horizontal, gantry control vertical. Okay, we can get through here. Or get there through here, it looks like. That gives me a 200 XP Explorer bonus. Perfect. And there's an ammo capacity upgrade in there. Awesome. Now I'm pretty sure that actually does fully cover this first cargo storage area. So, now that that's all handled, let's check the status on the pod we fixed. IC5-F slash Miname Maho dash MCS 170200. Designation 142 slash 030 dash 392. Sex, female. Ethnicity, IC5. Age, less than 20. Pickup, Asia-JPN. Destination, RBS-Silo-F. Associations, hi. Additional, ID confirmed, Maho Maname, born, question mark, actress slash singer, local. Possible augmentations, vocal, auditory. Note, secured through talent show initiative. SYTYCS promises to be motherload for recruiting subjects, i.e. slash talentless hacks. Procedures, full workup are EQ'd upon arrival, status stable. All right, now let's head into that elevator. Oh, it was right here all along. Gantry reset. Well, that seems like a good idea. Oh yeah, and then we need, just need to go over there. Okay. Now that we're over here... I wonder if there's anything beneath me. Oh, playing without augmentations, you forget how Jensen's legs are so incredibly fragile. But it looks like there's nothing down there anyway. Oh, well, let's just head down the ladder. Alright, we're in a new hold now.
think we need the crate stack to get in there. The most obvious question that springs to mind is, where do we get crates? And the answer's right here. <laughs> One, two crates should be enough to fully explore the whole cargo hold. One hopes, anyway. Make sure there's nothing else down in this hallway. It's just a, another view of the breach. Let's throw those up to the next level. Stack them both. Let's see if we can't get in here. <laughs> 200 XP exploration bonus. In here we find three credit chips. 41, 93, and 66 credits. There's also a pocket secretary. Poker night, from Jonathan Shepard to Declan Reynolds. Hey, since we're all flush from our recent quote-unquote civilian acquisitions, want to get together with the rest of the guys for a poker night? It's been pretty quiet lately, so I'm gauging interest. Let me know, the Shep. Easy enough. Keep track of where my crates are, because I'm going to need them again. I don't want to exit to deck one just yet. There's more exploring to do in here, that I know. I figured that was going to hurt. Let's head back through here the long way. Here's a container. A 
nothing inside. Top of it. Here you see a bunch of blood stains and an open container. 200 XP explorer bonus brings my total to 475. We also get an achievement, never forget. You revisited the site where Bell Tower discovered and captured you. Wahoo. I think that's everything achievement-wise for the forward cargo hold. That's good. So inside this container we can find a tranquilizer rifle, a cyber boost pro energy bar, a stun gun, and stun gun darts. All of which would probably be quite useful if you weren't playing Factory Zero. need to get over the other side too. First, let's move these crates back where I found them. Jensen. Okay. Looks like Jensen did put up a hell of a fight before he was captured. that one come from? I don't know. All this exploring is possible with crates, but it would be much easier it would be much easier if you had a uh, the jump augmentation. Well, 
glass in pursuit of factory zero, and that's not an option. over here. Well, we can, but it's not going to do me a whole lot of good. Unless I can somehow angle myself into there. Which I can. 200 XP exploration bonus. There's a nuke virus back here. Looks like just about nothing else. Huh. Interesting. Look here. Three hundred XP for finding my way into here where there's an EMP grenade and a concussion grenade. There's also a crate. And that's, according to the wiki, that's everything. So now, as long as I can find my way back to the ladder, we're set to move topside. Okay. Sorry if that seemed a little bumbling. It's tough to find your way through all that without any jump augmentations, but the good news is, as we go out this hatch, we arrive topside on the deck of the ship. Come on, Jensen, I want you to close the hatch. I guess he's not going to. Anyway, with the cargo hold clear, as I arrive topside, I'm going to call it a video. It might be a little bit short. I was planning on getting all the way to the CIC, but the cargo hold took a lot more time than I thought it would. So, this has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution, The Missing Link. Next time, we will tackle the ship deck and the CIC. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.